Without a stream key, SE Live enables OBS multi-streaming to TikTok Live and other platforms. If you still prefer to use a stream key, that's still possible and it's easier than ever to get one. Stream keys are available from TikTok Live agencies which are completely free to join. Joining an agency not only provides you with a free stream key, but it also protects you in case you are falsely banned. Plus using a stream key opens the door to using other software such as Mel Studio, Streamlabs or even other OBS plugins. So you don't need a key for this, but I've put my verified list of agencies if you want a key on screen and in the description. So before we install the plugin, let's just make sure OBS is set up to begin with. So go ahead and download it if you don't have it yet. And let's just start by making sure we have some decent settings on our OBS before we install the plugin. So we're going to click profile at the top, click new. I'm going to call it SE Live Multi-Streaming and show the auto config wizard and press OK. We'll optimize it for streaming. We'll go 1920 by 1080 and we'll go 60 FPS and press next. And then here you want to link your primary landscape streaming platform. So pick it from the list or choose custom if you're on kick. Also, if you don't have one, you can choose custom as well and just type anything into these boxes. SE Live later on will help us connect additional platforms anyway. So just for this purposes, I'm going to type anything into the box. But for everybody, make sure this prefer hardware encoding is checked but uncheck the estimate bitrate. And for now, let's set it to 6,000. For a 1080p stream, anywhere from 6,000 to 9,000 is usually good depending on the platform, but 6,000 will work on all platforms. So we'll set it to that, we'll press next. And now OBS has given us some good default settings, so we'll apply them. And let's just create a separate scene collection as well. So click on scene collection, click on new. And I've named it SE Live Multi-Stream Scenes. You name it, whatever you want and press okay. We now just have a blank canvas with nothing on it and good OBS settings. So now we can head to the Stream Elements website. I'll put the link in the description and on the screen. And we can download the plugin. But first, make sure you close OBS. So let's just run through the installer. Like most installers, we're usually just accepting all of the defaults. We already have OBS Studio, so we don't need to select that. And we'll press install. And if you need to close anything like it's prompting me, go ahead and close them. So to begin with, when we launch OBS again, we're going to be prompted to connect our channel. I'm going to recommend you connect YouTube, even if you're not going to stream on YouTube in landscape mode. That's because nearly all of us have a Google account. So with YouTube now connected, we have some setup steps and we're going to go with the multi streaming setup and it's going to launch this wizard. And this is the part where we can connect TikTok live without a stream key. So we're going to select the platform and choose TikTok. Now you can stream in landscape or vertical on TikTok. For most of us, we want to stream in vertical just because viewers are more familiar with that on TikTok. And we're going to connect with TikTok. And all we really have to do is link our accounts together. So your connection successful. It says I'm not eligible, so I'm going to click view live access. I'm going to press apply again. Classic TikTok. We have to jump through a few random hoops there for no reason. But now we are approved. And basically everybody will find that they are approved. There seems to be basically no requirements. And for me, I'm going to have to close this. And now we've successfully added TikTok and it's popped out this vertical canvas. But now we can't place it. So I'm just going to drag it to the side. Later on, we'll dock it into OBS properly. If you want to add more channels, let's just make sure TikTok's been added properly just by connecting it again because it was a bit bugged there. Then let's press next. And it's saying we're now set up and we can just hit start streaming. And in my case, we'll be live on YouTube and TikTok Live if we did that. So we'll press finish setup. And all of a sudden, we've got a whole load of pop-ups. Now, this can feel overwhelming, so let's go through everything. Firstly, it's a bit fiddly, but you need to find somewhere where you can dock your vertical canvas. I want to dock it here, but OBS is not letting me do it for some reason. So for now, I'll just drag it into the bottom right corner. And again, you can hover your mouse over different sections to kind of resize things as you wish. And what I'm going to straight away do to get more screen space is I'm going to delete the TikTok chat and the YouTube chat because we're going to use a different and better tool. So I'm just going to press the X button on TikTok and the X button on YouTube. If you have Kick or Twitch as well, close those two. Now I can drag my vertical canvas to the right where I actually want it. And I'm also going to close the Elements Control Center and decide for yourself how useful the activity feed is on the left. This is probably most useful for Kick, Twitch and YouTube, but you could optionally close that as well and then just keep resizing it until it looks the way you like it. Right, so let's set up the basics now, starting with our microphone and headset. So I'm gonna click on settings and audio. Our desktop audio is our headset. For me, it's the Cloud2 Wireless. Our microphone, of course, is whatever mic you're using. For me, that's the Quadcast and press OK. Now my Cloud2 Wireless hasn't appeared because it's not actually connected right now, but the microphone has appeared. 
I'm going to click the three dots and click on filters, press the plus button, click on noise suppression, and we're going to add RN noise, which is selected by default and press close. That just removes the noise of any computer fans, AC and background noise like that. So on our landscape and vertical canvas, let's set up the two classic scenes. Let's do the just chatting, AKA the full camera scene. And let's do our gameplay or computer display scene. So I'm going to right click scene in the bottom right corner, rename. I've named this one just chatting. I'm going to right click add. You can name this one gaming, computer display, whatever. We'll click back onto just chatting. We'll add a source. Of course, this is mainly our full camera. So video capture device. I'll add my Logitech stream cam. Make sure you change the resolution to custom and make sure you choose 1080p or 4K, 1440p, whatever you have. Set it to the highest FPS. The other settings should be fine and then add it into place. If you need to, right click, transform, fit the screen. Obviously, I would move this camera around if I was actually streaming properly. Now you can just lock it into place with the padlock. Let's set up the computer display. Press the plus button. Choose display capture. Give it a name, just simple like monitor one or whatever. Capture method automatic. Choose the correct monitor. Of course, this is a mirror effect because I'm showing OBS. You might get this mirror effect too. That's fine. It's showing what's on your screen and OBS is on the screen. If you only have one monitor, just minimize OBS while you're live and it will show what's on the screen. Let's lock that into place. Again, you can drag the corners if you need to move it around and resize it. And let's add back in our camera. So plus button, video capture device, add existing stream cam. And of course, this time we need to resize it. For example, you can put it on the left side of the screen. You can use the arrow keys to precisely move it around. You can right click transform. If you wanna, for example, center it vertically so it's perfectly centered on the screen and you can lock it into place when you're happy with it. So now if we click between the two, this is the very basic just chatting and a very basic computer display scene. Of course, we now need this in vertical mode for TikTok Live and YouTube Shorts or Instagram if you're streaming there too. So you can see where it says scenes underneath vertical. I'm gonna double click and I've renamed this to just chatting. In fact, it says just chatting one because the landscape scene has the same name. So I'll rename it to just chatting vertical. I'll press the plus button again to create another new scene and we'll call this one computer display vertical add scene. Click back on just chatting, click the three dots, add source. Once again, this is our camera. So it's a video capture device. Add existing because we already have it. It's the Logitech stream cam and add source. And of course we have to resize it. So we're going to click on it, drag it down and we're going to drag it across to place it perfectly centered. So I'm in the middle of the frame and that's our basic just chatting done. Let's click on computer display vertical, click the three dots, add source. Let's just do the basic camera in the top third, computer display in the bottom two thirds. So let's add the camera back in, which is our video capture device. Once again, add existing stream cam, whatever your camera is. And then we're just going to resize it so it perfectly fits in the top third of the screen. Again, finally, for our simple setup, add source display capture. Again, we've got these already. So add existing monitor one. Again, we're going to get the mirror effect. For some reason, it's accidentally highlighted all of them. I think that's just a basic bug. So I'm going to click into the black space. To start with, I'll click back onto my stream cam and drag it back up to where it should be. Then I click back onto monitor one and I'll drag it to where I want it and just resize it. And then we'll center it properly. And then finally, we're just going to lock everything into place once again, so we don't accidentally click on it. And this is the very basic just chatting. If I click on just chatting, there we go. Basic just chatting, basic computer display. Of course, I would strongly recommend adding your own twist, like a nice webcam border, which is usually an image source. Sometimes it's a video source and just customize the stream to your look and feel. Now we've deleted the chat, so we need to get the chat back on screen and we also need alerts for TikTok Live. So let's add those now. But just briefly, if you're looking to grow as a content creator and a live stream, I have launched the Live Success Academy. The goal of the Academy is to help you accelerate your streaming success. We do this through community posts packed with advice, through group calls on Discord, and through this nice little classroom section, which is packed with video and text advice. It also includes my best ever Tickfinity discount. So you can check out the Live Success Academy on screen and in the description. All right, before we add back in our multi-stream chat and before we add in TikTok Live alerts, let's link our landscape and vertical scenes together. I'm gonna right click the Just Chatting vertical, choose Link Scene and then choose Just Chatting. I'm gonna right click Computer Display Vertical, Link Scene and Computer Display. If I now click back and forth between the two on the lower left hand side, you can see they are both now linked together. So how do we rapidly add TikTok Live alerts? Well, we do that using Tickfinity's quick setup. So I'll put my Tickfinity affiliate link both on screen and in the description, but you can do this for free. That link just gives you a discount in case you choose to go pro. 
Anyway, on the Tickfinity setup page, just make sure that you have your correct username inputted. Make sure you click TikTok login and make sure you've logged in to TikTok. Then we're just going to do Tickfinity's quick setup. So to do that, click on actions and events on the left hand side. If you get this pop up, then press yes. If you don't see it, then you'll see this red at the top, which has click here to import predefined alerts. So either click yes or click that one. So I'm going to click yes. Now I've got this pop up here with this blue link. So I'm going to click on it to copy it. Again, if you don't see this pop up, then just scroll down and where it says screen one here, click on that link to copy it. So basically Tickfinity set up some basic alerts for follows, gifts, likes, and subs. If you get too many likes, you can just toggle here to turn that off. And now let's add it to stream elements. So choose whether you want to add it to both landscape and vertical. For example, if you're streaming on Twitch and you want the Twitch viewers to see the TikTok live alerts, then we'd add it to landscape as well. So let's do that. I'll press the plus button, choose browser. I've named this Tickfinity Alerts. You could name it Tickfinity Screen One or something similar. Paste in the URL, then you might have to play around a bit with the width and the height. I'm going to try 600 by 300. We can test this later. We'll shut down source when not visible and press OK. We'll lock it into place. Then we just need to add it in the various other locations. So add existing onto our computer display. Choose Tickfinity Alerts and it's added here. And of course, we just want to place it where we want. For example, we can right click, transform, center to screen if we just want to center it everywhere. And if I unlock it here, we could do the same thing here. Right click, transform, center to screen. Lock it into place when you're happy with it. And of course, let's now add it to our vertical. So once again, add source. It's a browser source. Again, we've already added it. So it's Tickfinity Alerts, add source. Place it where we want. So for example, middle of the screen. Looks like there's no way to perfectly place it here. So we're just going to have to kind of guess and work out how centered it is. We'll lock it into place when we're happy. And once again, we have to add it to this one as well. So add source, browser source, add existing, take Finity alerts. And once again, place it where you want. For example, I might place it over the camera here. And again, just make sure it's locked into place. And now we can test it by going back to Tickfinity. Let's simulate a subscribe, for example. And you can see We've got some pretty good dimensions, actually. You can see it as on the screen. Test user, thanks for subscribing. And it looks pretty good to me. Again, if you do feel the need to change it, double click and just change the width and the height. I also strongly recommend you to customize Tickfinity for yourself. Viewers will much prefer to see a unique Tickfinity setup compared to the same one that everyone else has. So I'll put my longer Tickfinity deep dive in the description. Now, earlier on, we deleted the chat, and that is because Stream Elements SE Live does not support TikTok Live chat yet, and we want a nice multi stream chat. So, for this, I'm going to recommend you download Caster Labs, which supports Kick, Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok Live, all the four major streaming platforms. So, I'll put it in the description on screen, casterlabs.co, that's without the M. Go ahead and download it and run through the basic installer, and then just go ahead and launch the Caster Labs caffeinated app and you will be prompted to connect any platform. So I'll start with TikTok. So that's now authorized. We'll go back to Caster Labs and we'll get this nice welcome message. We'll click off it for now and click back into settings and click on accounts. And then just keep connecting additional accounts that you want. For our purposes, I'll connect YouTube as well. And now let's get to how do we read the chat from OBS? Well, we're just gonna click onto docs. It says stream chat here. So we're just gonna click this copy button. We're gonna go back into OBS, click on docs, click on custom browser docs. I've named this Caster Labs Multistream Chat. I'm going to click in the URL box, Control V to paste, press apply. You get this pop up. And once again, we can just drag it into place, put it wherever we want it. So, for example, if we want it on the far left, a bit fiddly, but there we go. I pressed apply and close just to get rid of it. And then we just have to keep resizing things until all the different elements of OBS look the way we want them. And you can test this, by the way, if you're on Twitch or Kick without being live, just by typing into your Twitch or Kick chat. You can't test that it works with TikTok Live or YouTube unless you're actually live. And sometimes you'll find it takes a few minutes to connect. Just briefly, if I check widgets and alerts and press the plus button in the bottom left, if you want to add the chat on screen for all the viewers to see, then interaction chat and press copy in the top right corner. And you can just add that as a browser source to the relevant part of OBS where you want the viewers to see the chat. Now let's talk about how do we go live? Well, as it says, you just press the start streaming button. As you can see in the bottom right corner, we have to toggle the different places that we want to go live on. I don't know if this is bugged, but for some reason it's got my YouTube channel twice. I would only select it once. And of course, I would select TikTok Live as well. It's also worth noting that the primary streaming platform is actually set in the settings. So if I click on settings, click on stream. This is your primary streaming platform, and that is for landscape. So if you are having any issues, then consider deleting from this section in the lower right and then just setting up your landscape streaming platform in this section. 
Also, let's just click on Canvas settings in the vertical section here. So Canvas settings, you can see underneath broadcast settings, we can set a stream title and choose a category. Underneath Canvas settings, you might want to use the same recording settings as OBS just for simplicity. So we could save that, for example. If you prefer to use your TikTok live stream key instead of the TikTok integration, then once again, we can click on Canvas settings. Underneath outputs, where it says add output, just click the drop down list. And here underneath custom RTMP, give it a custom name such as stream key TikTok. And every time you go live, you just have to replace a new server URL in a new stream key. So that's just if you prefer to use your TikTok live stream key. So that is for sure a little bit complex to get set up. But of course, the advantage is you can use OBS, which is very resource efficient. You don't necessarily need a stream key and you can multi-stream to other platforms all from one piece of software. As I mentioned earlier, I highly recommend you create your own unique Tickfinity setup. And if you do need a stream key or you just want to get a stream key, then you can watch this video as well.